Madison. I'm Scott Adams. Good morning. I'm Gil Dion. On the next Good Morning Madison, we'll show you how spider webs can make a good sponge. And we get to spice up your cake with salsa. Ooh. Ooh. First, let's, <laughs> let's take a look at the first look weather with Rick Harrington. And I'm Rick Harrington with our first uh, look at the weather for the day. As you can see, it's going to be a goddamn cold day! It's freezing. Don't put your tongue on any metal. Let me do it here! Put me in! Oh, Rick. Oh, goodness. He's such a kid. Yeah, that's yeah, unbelievable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll have the five-day weather forecast and the traffic updates on the next Good Morning Madison. Good morning! Peter Clay of Harry Clay Productions, and uh, our topic today is actually the new DeJope Bingo Hall. Uh, should it go full gambling, or should it stay with just the, uh, you know, just the the the, the, bingo, the bingo portion of it as it is now? Uh, there's certainly controversy on both sides, but I would again, Pete's left town for a while. He's got a different view on it. I'd like to hear kind of what he has to say. Well, I was the biggest that... thing is I'm. You know, we talk to people here in Madison, it's just always the same old, you got this half that's for, this half that's against, okay. you know, there's money here, there's money there, there's hurt here, there's hurt there. But again, I'm really curious to hear what an outsider's yeah. view is on how sure. to... Well, you know, it, and it's the like basic part is, it's just so frustrating because there's so many pro and so many con, there's got to be a different spin to this. And I know Pete, you know, has done, yeah. yeah, and he's done different things that I know would help, you know, accentuate some of right. that, so... Well, if you look at Because the biggest part is, I mean, the Indians, and the Native Americans, I should say, excuse me, are definitely for, they're saying it's going to bring billions of dollars to this Jobs. area. Yeah. You know, and, uh, yeah. Um, billions of dollars of, of, of monies and different things, but yet the opposition the says it's going to create, you know, it's create different things that go on, and it's just, but I'm really curious people. to know what you think, Pete. I mean, we're... Well, the poor people. In that because community. the biggest thing is, you know, not just the poor people, just well, everything that checks. comes through it. It's just so important to figure out where... Where do people stand across the nation? Because it exactly, is and that's the British and it's not just Wisconsin. I'm really saying throughout, you know, the whole Midwest here, it's a big piece of what we're doing here. Exactly, and that's what and I it's feel very, about. it's just so it's so much controversy. I, I'm very concerned, and we're so interested in hearing about what you know what your spin on it is here at Harry Clay Productions. What he said, and actually we're out of time. So thank you, Peter Clay of Harry Clay Productions. It was it was it was nice talking to you about this. This and just in. Uh, oh. From the news desk, they joke bingo has just burned to the ground. Oh, well, problem solved, I there guess. There you go. <clears throat> There's no Matt's more. Still I'm trying to get his job reporting. Back. And yeah. the annuals everlasting are on sale this month. Wow. So, isn't that something? And there are nice flowers in there. Have a nice day. Good morning, Madison. I'm Ryan Lindsay. And I am Kim Glasser. Coming up on the next uh, Good Morning Madison. Actually, let's take an email here quick. And uh, this is one we get all the time. Oh, this, is, uh, this is from Betsy McCrary. She asks, you know, you guys get along so well. Are you guys dating? And I mean, come on. That's ridiculous. Right. You know, we work really together. Really Besides, really I'm a lesbian. You know, so it just wouldn't work well, out. You so. know, and, I'm, and I only like dogs. You know, so anyway. So anyway, um, let's uh, just get into uh, Rick Harrington's weather forecast. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Ryan and Kim. Um, we have some wings and thighs. I mean, some winds and uh, some heavy uh, weather coming up towards Wausau. So anyway, uh, onto the weather. Uh, as you can see, it's going to be a, a low of 10 degrees up in Eagle um, River. Uh, up in Duluth Superior, uh, 10 degrees, and just a little bit cloudy up there. <laughs> Down in Madison, 25 degrees. Uh, as you can see, it's going to be quite sunny there, actually. Um, and over in Milwaukee, uh, 20. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of our weather forecast for today. Uh, back to uh, Ryan and Kim and whatever it is that you guys are doing over there. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome back. So we'll have the, uh, thanks for, for that forecast, and uh, we'll come back uh, with your traffic update on um, the next Good Morning Madison. Morning! Bye! Morning! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on, do you want me to turn this one on, Tim? Oh, no, there's no light. You can lay up in there, you know, bolt. All right, do this, go on here. Ryan and Kim. <laughs> yep. Here you go. Is that on? Yes, it is.
the little lights on that. Well, you're wrong. So I've uh, changed so my sexual orientation. <laughs> uh, Matthew, uh, we understand you want to come back to Harry Clay Productions. We'd like to find out why you think you're even a willing participant for that and why we should hire you back. Well, see, since the last time I was fired, uh, <laughs> and that would have been the third or fourth time. I've, At least. I've taken no classes to help me out whatsoever. Plus, uh, I feel that I've listened to the radio enough to... Uh, Increase my knowledge of what exactly is going on in radio production, and I feel that with that training in mind, uh, my personal skills have increased enough to. <laughs> I thought by wow, that's a <laughs> ringing endorsement there. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> so the word stands, I guess. Basically, Mr. Kato would like to come back, even though he has no skills, <laughs> no talent, and uh, he's still a dipshit. But, <laughs> other you know, than we, that, we do yeah. miss him here at the Harry Clay Productions, and we're, oh. However, wait, wait a second now. It's been, what, 15 years since the first time you hired me on, and you fired Pretty me? Pretty close, yeah. Six times At least times five or now? six times, yeah. Um, you would think by now you would have seen past my uh, indiscretions, my inability to actually perform my job correctly, or and the technology would have taken us past the point where I was not able to perform my job correctly. Um, well, we here at Harry Clay are actually equal opportunity employers, and we do hire the handicapped, so I guess, well, yeah. uh, given that effect, you know, yeah, can you get much more handicapped than this, I guess would be my question to you, Pete. Um, <laughs> he's got dicks and everything else, so... Um, and he snorts his nose a lot, I don't know what the hell that means. And he wipes things on his arm. <laughs> so I, you know, Mate. I think we probably should hire him back. And oh, I'm going to have to get that dry clean. But, uh, Pete, what do you think behind the camera there? The other half of Harry Clay Productions. I'm sorry, where was I? Um, my feeling is that, uh, if you would hire me back, I feel that I could represent your company in the best possible manner. Um, and professionalism. And now, with this late breaking news update from Harry Clay Productions, here is news correspondent Matt Kendall. Matt, oh, you're on. Matt, uh, what's the news today? Uh, I'll be right there. You're fired! <laughs>